Starting with a blank canvas, create a new solid color fill layer. In the color picker, choose a dark color like black and click OK. Create a new empty layer above the solid color layer. Right-click the new layer and select Convert to Smart Object. The new Smart Object layer is now ready for content. Place your desired image onto the Smart Object layer. Resize and position the image as needed, then confirm the placement. Double-click the Smart Object layer to open the Layer Style dialog box. Select Bevel and Emboss from the Layer Style menu. Adjust the depth and size to your liking. Click OK to apply the bevel and emboss effect. The image now has a bevel effect. Zoom in to see the details of the effect more clearly. Double-click the bevel and emboss effect to reopen the settings. Go to the contour settings within the bevel and emboss options. Click the contour preview to open the contour editor. Choose a preset from the preset drop-down menu or manually adjust the curve to create a realistic metal reflection. Click OK to save the contour changes. You can also adjust the depth and size values further to refine the look. Duplicate the layer by Ctrl plus J. Double-click the duplicated effect to edit its properties. Change the direction to down to create a different lighting effect. Adjust the angle and altitude settings for the light source to fine-tune the shadows and highlights. Change the opacity of the shadows and highlights to your liking. Use the bevel and emboss effect again to create a third layer of depth. Adjust the size, depth, and altitude for the new bevel and emboss. Change the angle and altitude of the lighting for a different directional feel. Notice how small changes to the altitude affect the overall look of the metal. Experiment with different settings until you achieve a realistic look. Change the highlight mode to linear dodge for a brighter highlight. The final result of the bevel and emboss effects. Close the layer style dialog box. The final metal effect on the Facebook logo. Adjust all settings for more realistic and attractive. Next, add a texture to the metal. Select a texture file and place it above the logo layers. Resize and position the texture to cover the logo. Confirm the texture placement. Change the texture layer's blend mode to Overlay. You can also adjust the opacity of the texture to make it more or less visible. The final result with the texture overlay the final look of the realistic metal effect.